in this video we take a look at how to create a church flyer for a valentine's day program in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here over here we do photoshop tutorials and tech videos if that's something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing down in the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using in this video so you can download them and practice and if you are done practicing and you want to send it over you can send it to me on ig and then we can interact over there now let's get into photoshop and let's get started i'll be doing this in photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version of photoshop the first thing we have to do is we go to file and then we are going to create a new document now this new document can be according to any size that you want it but in this case we are focusing on social media instagram so we are going to use four by four inches so you set your size to four by four and then the resolution remains 300 now you come to the very bottom over here and then you are going to click on create this is our canvas for the project that we are working on now we're going to start off by establishing the background the first thing we have to do when we want to establish the background is we go to the create new fill adjustment here and then we are going to select on gradient now this gradient can be any gradient that you decide to set or you can use the one that we are going to use in this particular video so you click on your gradients bar over here and i've already set my gradient but of course you can use any one of these as well so i'm going to select my gradient over here and these are the hex codes this is the first one if you want to use it and this is going to be the second one so right over there like that and then you go ahead and then you click on ok and then ok from here now we are going to make a couple of changes to the settings over here click on the style here and change this one to radial we are going to reverse it like this and then we make sure that the angle remains 90 percent and that's basically what we're going to do for the gradient fill after you're done you click ok now we go straight into the resources that i've linked in the description below and we have this subtle pattern over here so you're going to bring that into photoshop and then you are going to make sure that you open it up till it fills the entire canvas that you're using or the entire background if you want to say it that way now go to the blend mode over here select overlay and then we are going to reduce this one the opacity here to about 20 percent so we're going to you can easily type it over there 20 percent like this and then you hit on enter now we go back to the resource that we just have for this project and inside of that we have this background as well so we're going to select that background over here and then we are going to open that as well but this time around this is not going to fill the entire canvas as we did for the pattern because you want it covered a portion just a portion of the flyer so we are going to select this and we're going to right click and rasterize it choose your blending mode and then this one too we are going to set it to soft light not overlay soft light so you select soft light over here and then we are going to add a layer max to it because we don't want the vector stock over here all all in this one so we add a layer max to it and then we are going to choose our brush to make sure your foreground color is black and then your hardness is zero now you're going to clean all the parts that you don't want from this particular background that you just added so somewhere around here this looks fine now after you're done with this you go back into the resource and then we have one more heart to add now this heart was used in the previous valentine promo flyer that i designed you can check that out link will be in the description so you bring that also into photoshop and then you can drag it to let's say a portion like here and then we are going to select the blend mode and change this one to overlay and lastly we're going to add a splash to this to make the background so complete so the splash is also added in the background so we're going to place it right over here you can increase it up if you really want to do so and then you can double click on it and that'll be pretty much it for the background so we can select all of these ones press ctrl g and then we can call this the background 
now we can go ahead and add our logos test and all the other information to this so let's quickly start off with the logo now i'm going to open the logo that i got for the methodist church ghana and then i'm going to make selections over here so you pick the magic selection tool and then you can hold shift and make selections over here and then you're going to delete that to be a plain background and then i'm going to drag this into the file or the documents that we are working on press ctrl t and then transform it a little bit like this to make it way smaller and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered now from here we can go ahead and add our test and when you come inside of my notepad here i have all the tests that i'm going to use written so i'm going to copy the first one go into photoshop and the first font that we're going to use for the test is called poppins my favorite of course so we select poppins and then we are going to paste the test over here you press ctrl t and then you can transform it out a little bit like this to make sure that it looks way better like that it doesn't have to always be very big but then you take your time to open it up so something like so and then i'm going to quickly add the present to it so that it will make sense so present and after that you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered now right over there we can make a duplicate and drag it right underneath of it and then we are going to type in here a marriage so something like this now we select all of this and the fonts that we are going to use for this marriage is called i found my valentine now i'm i found my valentine we're going to use the hearted one which has a lot of hearts over there and then we can press ctrl a to open it up a little like that press ctrl a and then you can centerize it like so now i'm going to right click on this marriage test go to the blending options and i'm going to add a gradient overlay onto that so i select the gradient overlay and this is the gradient that we are using if you want to use the same thing over here so this is the second one after you're done you click ok and then ok from here now it is time to add the main test to it before then we are going to since this is going to be about a talk we are going to select the rounded rectangle over here to create something like a conversation symbol so we are going to change the radius from 50 to 100 and then we are going to create a very nice and simple rounded rectangle like this and after that you're going to make sure that it is centered bring it down a little bit and then we are going to select the rectangle tool over here create a very nice simple rectangle like so and then we can press ctrl t over here and rotate this a little bit like this so you can open it up somewhere here and now we've created that conversation symbol we are going to select hold control and select the two both the rectangle and the rounded rectangle press ctrl e and then it will merge both of them now what we're going to do is we are going to decrease the fill over here to zero percent right click on the merged shape and go to the blending options now we are going to add a stroke to this so you select the stroke over here and then we are going to maintain the red color over here that we're using so you select the red color and then you click ok and then we add an auto glow to it as well and this one too is going to use the red color over here now if you don't like any of the settings that i'm using here you can pause and watch but then if you don't like any of them you can increase the size of the stroke you can increase the spread and then you can decrease all of that as well you can as well increase or decrease the opacity or change the color to any color at all that you want to use but we are going to maintain the red and that will be fine and okay for us so after you've done with all the settings you go ahead and then you click on okay now the beautiful thing about this one is that it still remains a shape so you can easily press ctrl t to transform it slightly if you feel like it is too big for you and now we can go ahead and add the main test so a marriage talk we are going to select the test tool make sure that you don't write right inside of the shape because it still remains a shape so you can hold shift in order for you to be able to write inside of this particular shape so you left click and then the fonts that we are going to use for this particular one is called elephant link to all the fonts that i'll be using will also be in the description so we are going to write talk over here so talk like that all in small letters now you press ctrl t and then you can transform this way bigger like that so something like this should be fine and then you can make sure that it is 
centered now we select all of this particular test and then we go to the toggle character and then we are going to choose the fox italic over here so that it is a bit slanted now once you're done with that you have to make sure that you center it all over again now we can add a couple of effects to this particular test over here so we right click on the test and go to the blending options the first effect that we add to this particular will be the gradient overlay so you select the gradient overlay and then you go into your gradients for the 2021 you are going to go into the basics and select this black and white gradient now after you select it go back to your settings and then we are going to set the angle to 90 percent so that it will be from the top to the bottom and afterwards we are going to reduce the opacity way below like this so somewhere around 20 percent should be fine now after you're done with this the next thing we want to add will be the auto glow so you select the auto glow over here and then we are still maintaining the red but this time around we don't want the size this too big so we can drag it to the very left side over here slightly like that and then the spread is also not going to be that big so something like this should be fine now afterwards we're going to add a drop shadow to it and then decrease the opacity a little bit like that let's go back to the auto glow and try to decrease the opacity some more as well so after this you can click on ok and then you can close this up press ctrl t and then you can open this up a little bit like that but then you have to make sure that you are centered that means we have to go back to our shape press ctrl t and close it up a little bit like that press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered now you realize from here that some of the feel from the shape still remains so we are going to drop that to zero percent at all like that and then we are good to go now right underneath of this we have a test from songs of solomon so we copy that and then we are going to paste it right underneath here so we select a test and then we can paste it right over there now we're going to go back to poppins so we're going to choose the light italic over here it feels like this still looks way smaller so i can easily go and select all of the three here group them press ctrl t we have another test so i'm going to select the test over here and then we're going to paste it right over there this time around we are going to use a font called palette script mt all the fonts will be in the description so we are going to press ctrl t and then increase or open up the test like that so over here and then we can press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered like so i need space at the very bottom for the rest of the information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly reposition all of these ones so i'll catch you when i'm done now we can add our date time and then the speaker of the program so first of all we're going to select the rectangle tool over here create a very simple rectangle like so you can press ctrl t to close it up a little bit like that and then we are going to apply the same gradient that we have on the marriage test onto this particular rectangle so what you do is you hold alt and then you can drag the fx over here onto the rectangle and this is what you have and now we can go back onto our notes over here and then we can select our test that we want to copy so that is going to be the date and then the venue so we can select our test over here hold shift and then paste it right over there and we are going to use the medium right over here now of course if you double click on this one you'll, you'll be able to give it any color at all and i'm using this chocolate color over here so you can click ok and then ok from here now right on the left side of this we are going to select the ellipse tool or the circle tool hold shift and then we can create a very nice ellipse or circle and then we are going to make sure that the first color is going to use the red color over here and then we make a duplicate ctrl j drag it to this very side and then we are going to make sure that this color also has something from this particular one that we are using and then of course you can select the two of them by holding ctrl and then you can close it up a little bit like this and then push it right over here on top of this we are going to add a test that is going to be the time so the time is going to be 5 pm and then we change the color over here to white so something like this and then you can take your time and position it 
in between the, the two circles that you did and then you can position it right over there so after you're done with this you can select from the 5 pm over here right to the rectangle that you created and you group all of them press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered like so and then you can position it on top over here now you can double click on this group the name here and then you can change it to date and time now after you're done with this underneath here we're going to add the name of the speaker so i have the name over here that's going to be reverend albert Pwachi adam so we select all of that and then you can also paste that one at the very bottom over here now you take your time and we are still using the medium over here you can reduce the size a little bit so ctrl t to transform it a little bit like that press ctrl a and then you can center it right over here now underneath of the speaker we want to add this rounded rectangle so you choose your rounded rectangle and then you can draw around the speaker alone just like so and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring that at the very bottom and then we are going to still add the effects from the marriage onto that rounded rectangle as well so something like that and that means that we can select the speaker over here alone and then we can change this to the wine color over here and once you have this you can group the two of this one as well so you select the rounded rectangle hold control and then you can select the speaker control g and then you group it and then you can press ctrl t to transform it like so and afterwards you press ctrl a and then you can center it like that now this actually looks fine but we have to add a couple of effects onto this to make sure that it looks way better the first one that i'm going to add is i'm going to select the hat over here press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then i can send it on top of all the other layer and then i can bring it over here change it from overlay to normal and then i can press ctrl t and transform it like this so make sure that it is way smaller and then i can position it somewhere around here so this place should be fine you can open it up some more if you want to and then you hit on enter when you are done and on top of this particular talk we we want to add a couple of lens flare on today so you go to file place embedded and inside of the resource that i added there will be a lens flare in it so we are going to use the first one not the number two but of course the first one now once you bring it here make sure that you open it up way more like this and then you can double click on it go to the blend mode and then you are going to set this to screen and then you can bring it right underneath over here so something like that should be fine you can open it up some more if you want to so open it like this and then you can bring it over here now we are going to right click and then rasterize the layer go to filter and then blur and gaussian blur and then we can blur it out a little more like this now you can use the control u the hue and saturation to adjust this to the, the type the exact type that you want so this looks fine for me and if it doesn't look way brighter for you you can add one more by pressing ctrl j to make a duplicate something like this should be way fine yeah and that'll be pretty much it for this particular video how to create a very simple church flyer for a valentine's day program in your church i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel would be so very encouraging thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye